Come man, you feel me? Big things, big things, big things coming soon for your boy. I know this called your grandmaster, and I wanted to know like what makes you so good and separates you from all the other dog trainers. Well, I, the grandmaster is because I've trained tens of thousands of dogs. I've encountered tens of thousands of dogs, and because of that, that interaction with all of these animals, I'm able to look at a dog within 30 seconds to two minutes and I can read a dog and figure out a program on how to shape desired behaviors and abolish the undesired behaviors in an animal. Animals are like people. They all are different and uh, you're gonna, you, you might get the same ending result but you got to go into with to train them with a program and a plan and you've got to be able to read the dog and create that program. And so that's what a master does. A master can look at something immediately and I can assess the problem. If you look at Mayweather as a fighter, uh, he can come into a ring and once the guy starts bo boxing, within 30 seconds to two minutes, he's only got a few seconds to figure out before this guy knocks him out. Then come up with a plan. He's a master at what he does. As far as my bloodline, if you ask me what makes my bloodline great, what makes my bloodline great is there every dog in the pedigree, I've owned every dog or had the opportunity to train or, or train every dog in my pedigree for at least five, six generations. And I know those dogs in that, in the, in, in that pedigree to where I can walk up to a puppy, a non-trained pu puppy, a puppy that's had nothing no kind of, of, of human interaction or shaping behaviors and I can make that dog do what you see other dogs do within three minutes and I'll give you an example if you want if you want to see. Because the way they're bred, but what makes them special is because the way they're bred, you should, you should be able to train those dogs very fast. They should recover very fast when training. I'm, I'm going to take a cup. Now this is a dog that has had no human inter interaction. This dog knows nothing. That's the reason you see me pick the dog up and carry the dog up because the dog hadn't even walked on a leash before. This dog hadn't been anywhere around people. So this is what's going to make me a master is to be able to figure this dog out in a few seconds but because i told you it's my bloodline i already know how to train now if you just just chill just stand right there and chill watch this nobody does nothing and i'm gonna show you in a matter of seconds how easy it is for me to access the problem and to get the bloodline to do what i needed to do now i don't see all my good treats up here but Now, if I watch that puppy, that puppy never, never hung around on his porch. So he's walking around confident. So that tells me he's not really scared of people, places, and things. But I'm gonna be able to get this puppy to come. Watch this, I'm gonna show him something. Here! 
Good boy! Yes! Now, that puppy's trying to figure out what's going on. Yes! Good, I see. So, a good master, I won't tell this dog what he, yes, good, I see. So this little puppy is figuring out. That's what makes the bloodline good. Here, puppy, here! Yes, you saw that? That's what makes the bloodline good. That's what makes me a trainer. When, when you see me with dogs, I'm able to do this, and other people, they don't know this, and they don't see this. And so everyone think they can train a dog, but you gotta take a dog like this and keep it away from everybody. Yes! Now watch, he's walking over there. He felt like he I didn't give him success. But I should have been watching the dog. Here, puppy, here! Yes! Yes, good boy, good here. Good here, didn't want any reaction, uh, uh, interaction and switching. But I'm gonna make you feel like that's cool. Yes, good boy, yes! So I can teach him anything I want in two minutes, five minutes. You can teach a dog anything you want, but you first got to take your dog and isolate him from everybody, and you got to have your own dog program, and for at least two or three months here, yes, you got to you gotta follow your program, and you can't listen to what nobody else telling you in order to get that in the result. Here, yes, that sound that sounds real stupid, I'm programming it in the dog head. Here, puppy, here! Now, so I gotta stop that. There's food up there. Now, that's what you don't want, is a puppy eating out of bowl. You don't want him to be able to have food. You don't want nobody playing with him, talking with him. You want the dog to only believe in what you got going on, so you can program those words. Yes! Now he's coming to me. So you can pr pr program those words. So now he knows my hand. It means good things. So now I can start what we call range of motion, luring. Watch this. So he, he thinks those shoes, he don't know yet. He's trying to figure it out. Here, puppy, here. Yes, yes. So, yes, yes. See the dog is already down, sit. All of that, you can train the dog in two minutes. But you gotta block the world out from your dog program. It just gotta be what you gonna do with your dog. You gotta know how you gonna train him, why you training him that. And you gotta stick to just that. You can't do nothing else. I see. Yes. Good boy. Over there to pick something up like that. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Couche. Yes. Now the first time someone does what you're trying to do and they do it wrong, they gonna throw your whole program back. The check at the end of the week. Yes. Good boy. Push in. Yes. Yes. Good. So that's what makes me a man. Here, puppy, here.